Hello everyone, it's Bon and welcome to my little space online. Back in February, some of my friends and I hung out and stayed the night over at a friend's place. And the next day, as I walked home with two of them, Bianca and Guy, I decided to test the role of Flickfilm Electro 100. And here's that video. Now, I know this is more of a video diary of me hanging out with my friends, so it's mainly something for us. But to make it maybe meaningful to you guys, I'm gonna add some commentary about the photos in the film. So please come along if you're interested. That's probably not. For this photo walk, I chose to bust out my trusty Minolta X700 paired with a 50mm f1.4 lens. And like I said earlier, the film that I'm using is a roll of Flickfilm Electro 100, which is another respooled Kodak Aerocolor 4 2460, much like Pofos Luminar 100 and possibly Santa Color 100. This video is not sponsored, by the way. I also brought my old Fujifilm X100T with me. I got this back in 2015 and I decided to take it out for a spin because of the hype surrounding the X100V. Now I won't be focusing on this camera in this video, but I'll show some photos that I took with it as well. Anyways, without any more further ado, here's the POV. It's so nice out. So we're going towards Queen Yes. Beach, and then maybe we'll stop to eat somewhere? Or no? Here. Whatever. Don't wanna like I feel like you're ready. Really? That's my feeling. God, you guys look so like nice. Oh, all of us have yellow. Yes. Oh man, too. It seems like we <laughs> we made this like a dress code. Yes. I swear we didn't coordinate our colors, but we were all wearing yellow somehow. <laughs> we started our walk in Cabbage Town from our friend's place and we headed down to Queen Street East because I wanted to drop off some film at Downtown Camera here in Toronto. The plan is that we'll find a place to have lunch after and then head home. I noticed that the sun at the time was at a good angle to get this rim light effect, so I asked Guy to pose for me here. I like this photo. It shows the character of the Minolta MD Rocor 50mm f1.4 lens. It gets less contrasty in backlit scenes, but I think the soft glow you get with it is pretty neat. The bokeh has quite a vintage look, which isn't for everyone, but I like it. <laughs> Ooh. Can you guys pose for me here? Yeah. Not for private property. But I still want the sunlight, yeah. I had to move further back here to get more of the building in frame. I think that's definitely a disadvantage of a 50mm lens. Okay, don't look. But do the thing, do, do the thing with your hands. Perfect. No, it's good. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I like this house. Where is it? So there's this bar bond on like Austin Town mm -hmm. that's called like the Communist Daughter. And on Monday they do like Communist Daughter? Yeah. <laughs> and on Monday, they do like they play records there. Mm. And it's a whole social experience because it's like they play the record, like you go there, you choose a record, they play side A and then they ask everyone to vote if they want side B or not. Okay. And then if people vote no, then someone else chooses another album and then that, the, the night goes like that. Oh. And apparently it's like a super cool place to go. Yeah. That's interesting, yeah. After a while, we stumbled upon this set of Super Mario murals, which I thought would look nice as a backdrop, so here are some more portraits. <laughs> One more. Don't look, yep. Yeah. 
Okay, Bianca's turn. Uh, look into the camera, actually. But turn your head a little bit this way. Uh, too much. A little bit here. Look into the lens. Three, two, one. As you might have noticed, I barely ask my friends to pose. So it's really just them showing their character, which I like because it feels more natural. Of course, I'd direct more if this was an actual portrait shoot or maybe if somebody's feeling a little bit awkward and don't really know how to pose. But for just hanging out, I prefer my friends to just be themselves. Also, they're probably so used to just randomly posing for me by now. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. Nice. <laughs> I can see normally above, but... Okay. I also took other photos of scenes from the streets in case you're wondering. I guess I should probably talk about the film stock. Thing is, I already made a review of Luminar 100 and Santa Color 100, so I feel like I don't really have anything new to say because they're all technically Kodak Aero Color. Electro 100 also has the same peachy tones that I'm quite fond of. Um, please check out my previous videos if you want to hear more in-depth review of similar film stocks. Anyways, we are so cute in this photo. Okay, you guys cross onto the other side and I'll take a photo. Anybody recognize this convenience store? Yep, it's the store that the sitcom Kim's Convenience was based on. <laughs> Obviously the show wasn't actually filmed inside this location, but they do show footage of this exact store in the show. Let me know if you watched it. I, I actually only finished season 1 of that show. I didn't get further. Um, maybe I should go, like, watch it again. I don't know. Not gonna lie though, this area of Toronto is a little rough. But I find quite a few buildings with lots of character here. It's currently undergoing rapid gentrification though, so a lot of these places will probably disappear at some point. Which is kind of sad. I just hope they try to maintain the character of the neighborhood. But, who knows? And stay there. <laughs> Look up into the sky. Thank you. This is so perfect. I love it. Acadia Bookstore. Do you want to go in? Sure. Case in point, we came across this quaint old bookstore called Acadia Art and Rare Books that's just oozing with unique character. After digging a bit about it online, I found out that it's been there since 1931. The inside is very cozy, and it's pretty much a treasure trove of quirky finds. I'm definitely going back to it to check out some more of their stuff, and I hope they get to stay up for much, much longer in this space. Ah, oh, there's a cat! Nice. <laughs> it was so nice! Mocha! Crag. Yes, I went to like the Mucha Museum. museum. Nice. I was just, it's so beautiful. Hello. to the, the thing when we were in Portugal reading like postcards that people wrote. Oh. The, dear mom, dad, thank you for your nice letter. I kind of wish I had a wider lens to switch to at this time. The 50mm can feel a bit too tight when taking photos indoors. Like, I feel like a 28mm would have done this place more justice because then I could have gotten more of the environment in frame. But you make do with what you have, right? I should just go back, really. Yeah, 
Anyways, I think I'm gonna end this video now because I pretty much finished the role at this point. Again, I really like the look of Kodak Aero Color 4 2460, so I'm happy that small companies like Flickfilm are able to make it more accessible to us. But yeah, I hope you found this film diary video of my friends and I interesting. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more if you haven't yet. And I hope to see you all again in the next one. Cheers. Ah, blocking my view. If you're wondering though, we ended up at a ramen place for lunch. <laughs> the end.